and it's taken a year and a half, but the Mission Valley Stadium project has been approved. City Council unanimously made the decision about an hour ago. Our Jeff McAdams stepped out of the City Council chambers and he joins us live to tell us all about it. Jeff. Hi, Maria. Yeah, the uh, the new stadium for San Diego State University, the football team, looks to be a done deal uh, once they get all the, you know, the fine details done on the paperwork. Uh, theoretically, it could be open by the 2022 football season. That is, if we still have this thing called college football with the coronavirus and everything going on, the future of athletics in this country is certainly up in the air. But let's assume we still got it. The city council all voting in favor of the SDSU West project, which was something residents approved back with the 2018 Measure G. Uh, it's arguably the city's biggest construction project in a generation, taking place on 80 acres of park and open space along the San Diego River. Uh, the plan calling for a new 35,000 seat football stadium right next to the old Qualcomm Stadium, a city owned river park, a hotel, educational buildings, 4,600 housing units with at least 460 of them being for affordable housing. The combination of the developments could lead to the addition of 15,000 students at SDSU and bring in billions of dollars. It's been highly contentious uh, back and forth to get this deal done over the last 18 months. City Council said they weren't ready to vote on it earlier in the week, so uh, they had an 11 hour meeting, put themselves in one room and didn't leave until they finally got it done. The meeting that happened a few days ago should have happened a year ago with putting everybody in a room, hammering out all the issues, getting to a resolution and closing this transaction. Today is a very significant milestone. Um, we've basically agreed in principle on all the points that, that are there. Now we just need to work out the exact wording. And once that's done to our satisfaction, then we'll have a couple more votes and it'll be a done deal. Yep, and so it is the purchase and sale agreement that we're waiting on right now. That could take up to two months uh, before escrow is completed. So we're looking at the stadium, the new stadium being up potentially by the fall uh, or even earlier, uh, 2022. They'll have that stadium up before they take Qualcomm down. That's what we'll see over the next couple of years. Maria?